Hey everybody, Radaman here. Thanks for tuning in to Starbound, a vanilla Let's Play tutorial series. So last episode, I asked you all, where should I colonize? And this is what got voted on. The majority of you said, hey, you know, build on those crazy scorched planets, you know, the ones that look uh, apocalyptic. And then you also mentioned I should build on the surface. And not the majority, but at least the plurality said, build, but with edits. So think time lapse or something like that. So here's, here's the trouble. One, I need to find a planet that supports, uh, you know, some sort of colony. It needs to be a scorched planet, and because I'm building on the surface of the planet, it's going to have to be a planet that uh, does not have weather effects that are going to destroy my colony. So that's that's goal number one. Uh, you know, find an appropriate planet. Goal number two, which actually, honestly, is probably the more difficult goal. Uh, goal number two is to not only uh, find a Novakid colony, but find one where I can scan and steal pretty much everything I'm going to need in order to make my own, right? So, about Novakid colonies, all the other species has sort of... How to put this? They all have a type of planet that they're more likely to live on, except for Novakids. Novakids have an equal chance everywhere, uh, and I really just haven't found one yet, which, you know, means that I'm going to have to go on a scavenger hunt of sorts for Novakid planet. Now, luckily, I can explore scorched planets and stuff like that in my uh, hunt for Novakid planets. There's really no issue in me, you know, I might find Novakids on a scorched world just as easily as I might find them anywhere else, so at least I have that going for me. Before I embark on this journey, oh my god, didn't I just get this silk? Alright, I think, I, I think I'm done with silk for now. I have enough of it. Uh, but yeah, I was going to say, before I do that, uh, there's actually something I, else I need to do. I should make myself a Novakid flag so that I can mark uh, the areas that I'm headed to. And then it also looks like I need to get rid of some of these building materials. So Novakid flag, that's going to be woven fabrics. And I'm going to wait here to make 40 of them. Um, 20 of them makes one flag, so 40 will make almost two flags. Maybe I have some woven fabric already. Maybe you don't. Okay. Let's see. If I have woven fabric, I'll be able to make two. I do. I have a single piece of woven fabric. So let's do two Novakit flags. And I'll be able to mark down, um, you know, spots, colonies, and the like. Okay. I'm just trying to ditch some of the things that I probably don't need in my inventory. There we go. And before I go anywhere else, I'm going to go to town. And I am going to sell a bunch of stuff just to free up some room. So I do have a teleporter and I have two flags. So that's a good start. Didn't mean to off center. Uh, let's sell. I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna keep this smoke machine. All right. I'm gonna sell some of these. Um, some of these materials that I don't really need. I'm not gonna be building really in anything outside of uh, Novakid style, so I don't really need hazard blocks and uh, wooden logs. I'll keep because that turns into stuff. But I don't need high blocks or any of the, any, Really, any of this. I'll keep the liquids because the liquids are um, the liquids are different. Uh, and then everything down here, I don't need that as well. It does look like I have enough tech cards to add more tech. So let's do a rocket jump. I'll demo the rocket jump, but I'm gonna go back to multi jump just to let you all know. So rocket jump is a delayed jump 
where you go in the direction of your um, WSD. So if you hold like W and D, you'll jump diagonally. If you hold S, you'll jump down, so on and so forth. A to the left, D to the right. Uh, all right, so you're selling retro styled stuff. So it can be really, really useful, but again, I really find my multi-jump is my bread and butter. All right, beam it up. So let's go look for A, a scorched world that is colonizable, and B, uh, a Nova Kid, a Nova Kid colony. Without finding a Nova Kid colony, uh, it's going to be pretty difficult to. Well, it's going to be pretty difficult to build one, uh, and then any. Matter manipulator upgrades I get, I'm going to put towards uh, painting and wiring. Alright, so here is a Scorched World. It has Sandstorms. So Sandstorms aren't destructive, but they are pretty annoying, uh, if I'm going to be honest. The reason why I find them annoying... Uh, so Sandstorms, what will end up happening is if I colonize on a planet with Sandstorms, I would need a canopy over my entire base, which, you know, is... It's possible to do attractively. But I would need a canopy over the entire base because sand does pile up. So you need some sort of roof or something. Okay, well here's a bunch of dudes that want to kill me. Now one of the advantages of searching tier 6 or these really, really difficult planets for um, Nova Kids to add is the gear that I get is going to be top tier tech. Yeah. Some of the best gear that you can have in the game so at least there's that benefit right i'm on a bit of a scavenger hunt as i mentioned but uh oh, come on there we go. but at least it will pay for itself okay so i am definitely going to traverse the I'm going to definitely traverse the uh, the surface here. Trying to find my Nova Kid friends. Ooh. Some ores and medical supplies. I like that. And a Manor Manipulator module. They're not hostile. Some are, some aren't. Some good old landmines. Alright, at this point, I have enough pixels that I'm not necessarily after things that money can buy. I'd be more after manner manipulator modules. So here, I got the paint mode for painting tiles in a variety of colors. And then next, I can get the wire mode with three more pretty inexpensive. I don't really find myself using paint or wire outside of colony building. I suppose... Oh, so this is a... Uh, this is a dungeon. This is not what I'm looking for. Now, on larger worlds, like the one I'm on, there's a possibility of up to three sort of colonies. Um... So just because I found this sort of dungeon doesn't mean there, there can't be Nova Kid elsewhere. So I'll just keep keep exploring. I'm switching through a lot of biomes here. This is obviously the bone one. Good, good old bone boo. 
That's the uh, first time I found that, I guess. Ouch. More people that want to kill me? Oh, why, yes. Wouldn't be the apocalypse without hordes of what seemed to be undead trying to murder me. Let's try to get across. Oh, and... Yeah, your dastardly traps. Uh, that's not a... Getting a little hungry. Nothing like zombies with giant spears. Well, this biome's a little bit of a bust. Come on, you creepies. You can't handle the excessive stabbings. Is this tier six? Yes, tier six ice portal. So because we're on the hardest difficulty planets, we're going to start to find really good weapons. Which is exciting. I'm also going to take these energy javelins because they do a ton of damage. And... Oh, I don't heal in that? Oh, okay. Sometimes, you know, they're bad. That one is not. Bone chair. Sort of hoping that uh, one of these creatures here will give me meat. Oh, there's going to be probably Fire Lord stuff down there. Hmm. I figure I'll get it. I have plenty of dirt, right? This is probably one of the easier ways. Uh, there, I'm sure there's a lot of other ways to excavate lava. Yep, Fire Lord Boots. Uh, so this sword here is 13 damage, 1.8. So it's uh, more damage, but it does not swing as fast. Uh, the Ice Portal can replace the old Ice Portal swan that I had. There we go. Now we have a tier 6 Ice Portal one. Oh. So let's test that out. Not that it's going to be all that different. Just more damage. Sorry. I think that guy here is just a bystander. Probably wasn't even that hostile. Well, so here's a great use for the portals. Not having line of sight on enemies and being able to blast them anyway. Except for they jump down to me, so that's sort of defeats that purpose. Hello, little cultists. I may give up on this planet in my search for Nova Kid because we've already found one dungeon and it's usually easiest to find the first one and after you find one it takes considerable additional uh, searching and scavenging to find the others. Oh, glitch. Okay. So we're looking not only for Nova Kid but we're also looking here. Let me just get out of here up on this planet. We're also looking for the possibility of recruiting Apex or other um, other species that are not represented on my crew. So, let's go find a new planet. So this was a scorched one. This looks to be a scorched world as well.
Maybe. It's kind of hard for me to tell from a distance. I've never been good at that. Uh, looks like my character's going to need a bit of a snack, so I'm going to grab some of these random foods that I have here and see what I can whip up uh, with them. So, ingredients available. I can make burning eyeballs. Okay. And hot bone. Sure. What else can I make? Lucky dip. That's it. Okay, let's put away the rest of the ingredients. Oh, thanks. Closing the door on my face. <laughs> Alright, well, at least this is a little bit of food. Oh, um, I do have some seeds. Yeah. I could plant, but again, I'm just really interested in uh, rice. It's boring, sure, but like... It works. Uh, you know, one thing I could do is... Where was my kelp? Where did I put kelp? Or did it all rot? Oh, here's some kelp. Because, yeah, I could make stuff with the kelp and rice. Or, or not. I thought I could. What is the ingredients for sushi? Oh, I'm missing a little bit of kelp and raw fish. There was something else. Oh, rice cake. Again, I'm missing just a little bit of kelp. Ah, okay. That explains it. So I guess boiled rice it is. Diet of heroes. <laughs> Alright, let's land on the planet. It is indeed scorched, but not a contender for habitation because of the meteorites. So there are ways to defend against meteorites. I guess while I'm on this planet, I will try to explain as best as I can. So the way would be, I gotta pause. The way would be, weather effects, if you look at the my cursor here on the left, weather effects are rendered because of your background. So if you want to settle on the surface of a planet, uh, one thing that you could do which is ugly, you could do this with other tiles, is basically just fill in the background. Right? Like this. So you technically... And once I've filled in the whole screen here, uh, when weather happens, it will... Weather will happen based upon... sort of your background tiles. So if I did fill in everything like that, um, the net result would be... Ooh, look at that. This food set me on fire. Uh, the net result would be that... Um, I wouldn't get meteorites. Which would be, you know, to my benefit. It makes for a very, very, very hideous uh, colony, though. I just well, I wanted to point out, right? Because you've essentially just designed your colony to be a surface colony, but look subterranean. I don't know. Maybe there's ways to make it look attractive. I am not good at that, so uh, I'd be looking for a planet that doesn't have those issues. Oh, and here we go. Ice portal and slow zone. Uh, I don't usually use two-hander staves, but it's cool that I'm finding them. So that food gave me thorns, which is like return damage, a full bully, and bonus damage. So I have uh, a little bit of bonus damage going on right now, which is great. I could always ask for a blessing near the arc, but... want a utility pull. Oh!
someone's little underground stash of stuff. And now I have enough for wire mode. So up here, as you can see, wire mode is T and paint mode is Y. Uh, allowing you to build wires and, and paint stuff, which is useful when you're trying to build a, a colony to your specifications. Uh, are these apex? Hostile apex? Seems it. Berry trap, I love it. Teleporter core, nice. Those are all always useful. This oil is making it possible for me to jump. Dashes. Ooh, this one. Bit of the mother load here, huh? Platinum drills, assault rifles, tons of medical supplies, music, instrument. I'm not really after pixels anymore. I'm just too wealthy to care. I know how callous or whatever that sounds with. Falling through. My dude, because I'm uh, I'm basically loaded. Right? How many? I have so many more pixels than I need, so I'm not gonna waste time on getting every last pixel everywhere. How's that new assault rifle stack up against my old one? Uh, this is a grenade launcher assault rifle. Uh, let's see. I'll just use it for a bit. I'll know pretty quickly if I like it or not. Now, the energy javelins do a lot of damage, so they're worth picking up for throwing weapons. And yes, if you wanted to avoid the sort of obstacle course, you could just cut right through. I mean, there's no... Oops, sorry about that. There's no penalty to that. So it's a burst fire rifle. I don't like it as much. The other one has status effects, so let's go back. Gag nose and a two-hander. Ooh, this one has healing zone. Uh, so healing zone heals you, and it's a tier six uh, weapon. So it's gonna be a lot of healing, a lot, a lot of healing. Very good. It's very uh, helpful to have like healing on demand like that. By the way, all right. Hey, you locate a large metal uh, pile of scrap. Oh, hello. Is this what I need to kill? Yes. Oh, hello. You're kind of big.
those uh, mini bosses or whatever you call them, they can be quite dangerous. You gotta you gotta be careful around them because sometimes they can hit you like a ton of bricks and just instant you to death. All right, so that's the quest. Pretty simple. It was just this scrap pile. And you are a soldier. Sure, I'll hire you. You gave me an elegant wedding top. Uh, I, I'm. Should I read into that? <laughs> so this is some sort of like apocalyptic community, I guess. Hello, hello, hello. Which is sad because. If I recall correctly, this planet has giant meteor strikes, so these guys are gonna die off. If I'm being being honest. What was this? Hobo hat. Nice. Alright, so another quest to go to the scrap metal pile. And yet another hat. Well, you guys are all about your hats, aren't you? Some outhouses. Uh, that is a chest, but way deep under. Are they going to be getting mad about me digging here? I don't think this is a formal colony, so to speak, so I don't think they'll get mad. Famous last words. Another musical instrument. Ticket. All right, let's go over to the scrap pile and do what they ask me to do. So we do have a new crew member. Not an Apex one, a human female, but I don't know, it's something. Located the scrap pile. Oh, this isn't even the scrap pile? I'll be damned. There's a different one. Ah, oh, here they are. Hello, you little skeleton dudes. See, but the problem is, I can attack so fast can't even do anything. So let me demo the beautiful properties of the healing aura. If you ever want to heal up... Oh no, this is the energy one. Oh, where's my healing staff? I put it uh, here. Here we go. Free healing. Free regen. So if you ever want to just top up your health, uh, but you don't necessarily want to... You know use medical supplies. Uh, a healing staff, very, very useful. You can also drop it if you're in a boss fight and you're having to, like, kite and you're getting hit a lot and you're having to just soak up damage. What I need to do... You want to join me too? What are you, a janitor? Sure. Uh, Alright, I'm going to run through there. Now, you know what? I'm going to beam up. Let's go to the next uh, planet. So now I can obtain the next license because I added two crew members. I need uh, eight upgrade modules. I have enough. Solarium more. Oh, nice. So we've got, in terms of crew, we've got uh, Taylor and Martin. Those are the new the new folk. All right, let's head over to the tele shop so that we can upgrade our ship. Or head over to the town.
That's a whole lot of pixels. Hello, <laughs> penguin with a gun, one around town. All right, so here is another upgrade. And now my Novika chip is a whole dang train. This is the last, I believe this is the last upgrade so I can recruit two more crew members, total. I can always fire ones and replace them though, if I want to diversify my crew a little bit more. Uh, where is Martin? Are you Martin? Oh my God, I can't even tell. Uh, you might be Martin. All right, hello Taylor. Put everyone in my dashing suit. All right, well, on the search for additional planets. So we searched this one. There is no more scorched. Zabal Beta, we're heading your way. So there seems to be two scorched planets here. Hopefully one of them is inhabitable. Uh, if I find that, I can always throw down a flag and return later when I have the ability to make... Um, nope, this one won't be inhabited by me. But I can always throw down a flag and return when I have the ability to make a Nova Kid colony. Okay, so here's Taylor, our new newest warrior. I'll have her solo escort. Oops. Oh, no. And there goes Taylor. <laughs> Let me catch up. Uh, well, Taylor, I'd advise you not to stand on a landmine, but what do I know? Oh, there you go again. Stand on a landmass. I guess I'll leave the passive creatures. There's no need to fully exterminate. That's kind of not our mission as a protector of the galaxy. Here's some scrap piles. Maybe that indicates that we'll have a quest giver somewhere close by. No, we're not. <laughs> I feel bad for Taylor. She is just tanking. My complete disregard for her safety. A bit of a problem. Alright, so the next meta manipulator upgrades are going to definitely be optics. Optics will actually also help um, building because being able to build from further distances allows me to like build a larger facility without having to get close to everything. Okay, bunch of dudes that want to kill me, I think. 
out and play. Yep. We'll do. Now I'm still looting everything in hopes to find stronger daggers, stronger guns, stronger gear. I'd obviously um, have a lot better chance at finding better gear if I was underground in the caves and whatnot. There tends to be better better gear, you know, in the in the sort of underground spaces. Um, there's still a chance of me finding good gear in the boxes up on the surface. They're just rarer, I suppose. And these are creepy looking bugs. Or whatever they are. I don't even know if they're bugs. the oil. <laughs> Some meat. That'll be good. Nothing like eating a uh, monster meat. Pan flute? Hammered dulcimer. Okay. Looked like a pan flute to me, but what do I know? And now that I'm uh, hurt, I can always heal up. Oh, a microphone. High pitched microphone. Can always heal up, dropping a heal on me like that. Save him. Oh, hello. Hidden resources. Or boxes that are all completely empty. Well, isn't that a, uh, a letdown? Eat some more burning eyeballs. The damage bonus. Deadbeat headwear and a large stylish drawers. Now another way for me to get the Nova Kid, um, it wouldn't give me like the full furniture set, but at least to get me started, is to check in with Frog's furnishings periodically to make sure that uh, when they offer Western styled Nova Kid styled stuff, um, you know I buy it. found it yet, but I haven't been periodically checking either. Yeah, you do have to check often if you want to find that kind of stuff. Alright, my goodness. I guess the colony was in the other direction, because I've been searching the surface here for a while, and I haven't found a squat. I suppose I could um, be more passive and sort of skip over all these, uh, all these enemies. I don't necessarily need to kill everyone. Except they are really good at following me. Bye-bye. 
<laughs> when your attack move is to fling yourself off of a cliff, uh, you need to reanalyze your tactics. Oh, hey, I see you. I'm not above collecting some wood. What's going on, dude? You won't talk to me, huh? That's okay. I mean, if I was a shadowy ghost, I wouldn't talk to me either. Lovely glow biome. And I feel no closer to finding Nova Kids or. Well, yeah, I guess that's more or less what I'm after. Okay. Abandoned facility. Full of bananas. I think you know what kind of facility this was. I guess I can read your top secret reports. I'm not going to go underground, I don't... I know what I'm going to find down there, and I don't really care. No, I do care. I am looking for weapons after all, so... I guess I could do a little bit of dungeon clearing. Doesn't get me any closer to my Nova Kid goal, but... But I do have to be careful with these zombies. Was it worth it? 200 staff of fire orb. Uh, what? Well, sell. And then, hey, 3.5, 8.3. Uh, let's see. That might be a little bit better than... Than my... This one-hander. Just because it attacks faster. It's something. Poultry. I don't necessarily need to kill everything. It's not like I'm... Oh, one-hander. Uh, damage per shot, 2.5. That's terrible. Just flatly terrible. necessarily need to follow the flow or rules of this facility. I can just cut my way through. As you can see. It's not like a uh, quest dungeon or anything like that where, it, you know, it's going to instruct me to go a certain way. Another Gagnos. Oh, there's some good stuff here, though. This might have been the treasure cache. That's poison. Yeah, 
And I should be nearing the end now. Oh, we're not. Flute. I'll just keep going and going. Alright, so this is obviously outside of the uh, facility at this point. Oh, uh, down that way. What's the primary attack of this anyway? I, I don't even know. I, I haven't used my my healing staff for anything. Oh, bunch of fire. Uh, that's pretty good. I like the portals better, because this is just a singular fireball that harasses the target. Not bad, but not quite the uh, DPS potential as uh, the swarm portals. Oh, and here you can see uh, regular water turning to poison after it's been introduced. It does not dilute. Hey, fishy. Luckily, the secondary attack of my uh, gun slows them down as well. And this should be the end of it. Oh, an energy pickaxe. Well, ain't that phenomenal. So, if you're wondering what this thing is, it is a mine all. Uh, maybe I shouldn't poison myself like that. Um, Which, at this point, is uh, weaker than my uh, manor manipulator tool. But uh, for everybody other than myself that does not have a manor manipulator, it would be some sort of improvement. Right. Forget climbing. Um, no! These poison doesn't hurt that bad. Alright, let's get on out of here. Get going the right proper way. This way is faster. surface again. My eyes are slowly adjusting to the light. I think the chance of me finding um, another colony is lower now that I found that, uh, that apex facility. We may, as a result, want to change planets. But I'll, I'll give this one a little bit extra exploration. That was unwise. And yes, uh, I do know, as was mentioned to me many, many, many times, you can just mine out all of these. Here, I'll show you. You could just grab all the loot like this. The thing is, I don't like doing it like that for two different reasons. Uh, one, it obviously is destructive, right? It's functionally destroying what was built. But not just that. Uh, it's also that if you get a giant pile of stuff, it would be very easy for you not to know what you've looted, right? 
it would be very, very easy for you to overlook some rare item or something like that because you get like 15 items at once and you just don't see. So I'm all, I'm all about taking my time. Sure, it might not be the best way, but... Maybe the world's looking pretty at least. Well, all of these uh, energy javelins I'm collecting are going to be very, very helpful. Uh, energy javelins, I think, I'd have to double check, but I think for as far as one use, single use throwing weapons, they are the strongest in the game. Oh, we have a pet collar here. What kind is it? It is a health collar, making them tougher. And it's the first time I found a collar. Uh, so the sale is going to tell me about it. You wear, you you have your pet wear that, and your pet will be tankier. Well, unfortunately, I just spent the last fifty minutes exploring planets that not have not yielded uh, colony results. You know, I'm not going to be able to colonize this world or any of the others I've searched, and I haven't found any Nova Kids. It might be a while for me to find Nova Kids. Now, what I could do is I could try to do, like, speedrun um, planet explorations. There's a few other options as well. Ow, don't kill me. Oh, dear lord. Uh, there's a few other options. One, there are some mods that can tell you what kind of habitations are on each planet. So I would just search around and it would say, oh, you know, there's like Nova Kids on this planet. And um, that is one possible solution. Now, instead of polling you guys, you all can just tell me in the comments how you feel and what you think. So if you want me to use mods to help me find Nova Kids, that's one way. If you want me to do it offline, or rather not in recordings, but, um, you know, sort of find all the Nova Kid blueprints on my own, unrecorded, and then flag it, and then start a recording, that's another way. If you want me to, I guess you could even technically dev mode in a Nova Kid village if you wanted to. That's probably the cheesiest way, but... But, um, I'll leave the choice to you, uh, just, you know, I'll go with whatever the majority feels or thinks. Alright, let me, oh, I think I started here, I've already looted that box. So, that basically concludes this episode. Sadly, I didn't get any of my goals done, I did not find, uh, a habitable planet or Nova Kids, and... You all can let me know how I should proceed from here. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you all next episode. Farewell, everybody.